All right. Now we're going to do some calculations for phase change involving no temperature change. Okay? So no temperature change means we're either going to look at melting, or no temperature change means we're either going to look at vaporization. All right? Here we go. Remember what I said about delta H now. You're not going to... You're going to be given that. It's all about canceling your units. Here's some problems. Phase change calculations. Phase change calculations. All right. <clears throat> the heat of fusion of ice is 79.7 calories per gram. So if we go to our other page that we had, remember the heat of fusion of ice is this thing. It's this thing. So we're going to use this equation, okay, on this page. So delta H is calories per gram. Notice it's calories per gram. Okay, sometimes you won't have to use moles. Sometimes you'll have to use mass. So this is delta H of fusion. The heat of vaporization of water is 540 calories per gram. So this is delta H of vaporization. In problem number one, it says how much energy is required to melt 100 grams of ice? Well, let's see. Which equation do I use? Do I use Q equals MC delta T? Or T2 minus 1? T1? No. I use Q equals mass times delta H of fusion. Mass times delta H of fusion. I go back here, get my pen, and Q equals mass times delta H of fusion. Okay? Now, mass is 100 grams. Delta H of fusion is 79.7 calories per gram. What happens to the grams? The grams will cancel. Okay? So 100 times 79.7 is 7,970 calories. Okay? Calories. Little c calories. Okay? That was to melt. How much energy, problem number two, is required to Vaporize. Vaporize. 234.5 grams of water. Well, it says the heat of vaporization of water is 540 calories per gram. What equation am I going to use? Am I going to use Q equals M times C times T2 minus T1? No, I'm vaporizing it. I'm vaporizing it. And so I'm going to use Q equals M delta H of vaporization. I can use mass. Q equals mass times the delta H of vaporization. So Q equals 234.5 grams times 540 calories per gram. The most important thing that you get out of this is that the grams cancel. All right, got my calculator. Okay, so now 234. 234.5. Can't see it. Ah, there you go. Got polarizer sunglasses. Anyway, I'm not going to do it. You guys get the answer. It's calories. Okay, the answer is going to be in calories. All right. So, the point of this video, again, was to make sure you understand that the most important thing is that you understand when it melts or when it vaporizes. You're not using Q equals MC delta T. You're using mass times delta H of fusion or mass times delta H of vaporization. If it vaporizes, delta H vaporization. If it melts, delta H fusion. Okay? Pretty simple.